Jean Patou by Eric Franz. Patou was born in August 1880 in Normandy, France. His family made money through tanning and furs. Throughout his childhood, Patou worked with his uncle in Normandy. Then in 1910, he moved to Paris in order to become a courtier. Patou's work as a courtier was put on hold during World War I. In August 1914, shortly after the German invasion of Belgium, Patou served as a captain in the Zouave. Patou left the Zouave in 1919 and reopened his couture house. Soon after, he became known for doing away with the women's flapper look by lengthening the skirt and introducing women's sportswear. Patou has been considered the inventor of knitted swimwear and the tennis skirt. All throughout the 1920s, Patou created fantastic lines of high-end sportswear for women. Offering sportswear to women was, in itself, very revolutionary at the time. Patou also worked on knitwear and relaxed fashions that were easy and comfortable to wear. He is credited with popularizing the cardigan and inventing not only the tennis skirt, but the knit bathing suit, which was quite sexy in its day. Jean Patou is also credited for inventing the designer tie in the mid-1920s. He used women's dress material for his ties and displayed them in department stores next to women's perfume counter. The designer tie is still prominent amongst fashion designers, such as Louis Ferro, Timothy Everest, Duchamp, and Paul Smith. In 1927, Patou introduced the first tanning lotion, or sun lotion. He called it Huile de Chardet. Introduced in 1935 in the middle of the Great Depression was Patou's famous perfume Joy. It was called the world's most expensive perfume by Elsa Maxwell. Today, Joy remains one of the world's most expensive perfumes due to its unusually costly ingredients. Patou passed away in 1936 in France. Joy Perfume The perfume was originally created for Patou by Henry Almera. The immense cost of the raw materials going into Joy was said to be ridiculously expensive, involving 10,600 flowers and 28 dozen roses, 10% real Bulgarian rose and jasmine. This results in Joy retailing for about three times what most perfumes cost. It still remains outrageously costly today. However, Joy remains the world's second best-selling scent next to Chanel No. 5. After Patou's death, his sister and her husband continued his perfume business. Jean Clario has served as chief perfumer for over 30 years now and is the creator of the famous 1000 and is currently director of the Perfume Museum of Versailles. Karl Lagerfeld and Jean de Maou, Jean Patou's great nephew, all have contributed to the company. Today, the Patou Perfume name and trademarks are owned by Procter & Gamble, Prestige Butte. Many of today's rich and famous swear by Potu's fragrances, such as actress Gwyneth Paltrow and Julia Roberts. Here are some more designs by Patu.
Thank you very much for watching.